what I like the most is the fact that it saves us a lot of time, um, that we are able to have uh, preset um, variables, uh, tags, um, that we mainly can load with a view. And um, we mainly use it as well to uh, compare different cycles to then see if there are any differences. For us, obviously, in pharmaceutical, it's very um, necessary to uh, check and uh, your process accordingly uh, and to, to make good uh, decisions. It's mainly for uh, graph control um, to then have uh, that sort of uh, state where um, all the information basically comes together. Uh, and that's something that Trendminer really offers for us. Um, otherwise, you're just looking at different sensors, but in this case, you can combine all of that information uh, in a nice way and resolve your issues much faster and do better analysis. We ma mainly use the Trend Hub um, for a root cause analysis. We do also do some uh, monitoring um, of um, certain uh, aspects, parameters, um, also leaning towards being more um, predictive to our uh, process itself. For example, recently we had um, um, one of the issues where uh, the pressure was increased at a certain area. Um, we look into it, we've, um, we've seen that our cycle reacts differently compared to in other cases and we investigated that issue. We were able to narrow it down also using Trendminer and um, other, um, other uh, data sheets basically. And uh, in that sense, we were able to solve uh, an issue in a re relatively short amount of time um, with yeah, uh, minimal loss of production and um, being able there to produce uh, fast again and uh, with the right analysis in the end. I would recommend Trendline.